Emma Raducanu, we're all still trying to get our, our head around it. It's unbelievable. And she just got better and better. And in the end, she's sort of playing top five, top ten level of tennis. What did you actually think of the final? It's a shame there had to be a loser. Uh, but her poise, um, technically really well set up. I, I just love what she produced over the last fortnight. Yeah, it was, it was really good. I mean, to come through and... and you know, we say as a qualifier there's no pressure, but when you get to a Grand Slam final, there's pressure because all of a sudden you have this opportunity to win this huge title. And I think for both women, Layla Fernandez going into the tournament, if you said, we'll give you a US Open final and you'll play Emma Raducanu, would have taken it, I mean, and vice versa. So um, it was a huge opportunity for both both women. Uh, I think when you look forward, it's definitely a matchup we're going to see again in the future. I think Raducanu's mm. probably, for me, got a little bit more of the game to sustain that level. Um, and there's not a lot of holes in her game. And I know she was picked apart by a few high-profile people after Wimbledon because of the you know, anxiety sort of breakdown yep. that she suffered in that fourth-round clash. And there's a lot of pressure on a young player when you come from a, a tennis nation and a sporty nation like Great Britain. Um, and she didn't quite handle the pressure of the moment very well. But she's obviously gone away and worked on a few things because of her ability to back up only, what, six to eight weeks later and achieve what she has in New York. Um, full credit to an 18-year-old. Um, you know, I would have loved to see Fernandez not even buy into a little thing with the the medical timeout yeah. that that just yep. just took a little shine off for me um you know Redican was well in control of the match she's bleeding from her knee you have to get that patched up you're actually not allowed to play Correct. with blood coming out it's not like she was trying to stall you're actually not allowed to yep. do it yep. um and it just when i saw that and I, I heard those comments it just sort of took a little bit of the shine off Fernandez's week for me i didn't like hearing that so what do you think the legacy of Raducanu? I mean, it might be the generation oh, below no, her. No legacy at 18. She's well, just popped onto the scene. Okay, sorry. Let's rephrase. <laughs> the impact yeah. of her winning at 18, the the generation below her, what about those around her, Grothy? What about the ones sitting right now in the 300s? We might get the Aussie rankings up uh, very shortly and just think of our girls who are ranked in the 300s in the WTA. Do you think the, the, there will be some belief that will sort of will resonate around the tour that this could be me, potentially? Yeah. And I think I think Emma actually addressed this. She said it, it just shows the depth in the women's game at the moment that someone of her ranking can, can come through. Um, you mentioned those names in the 300s. Well, Jamie Fullis is just inside. She's 299. Gavrilova, Gadecki, mm. Myers, Hives. Well, Gadecki's the one that we are not pinning all our hopes on. No. But she's the one that is showing a, a lot of potential being uh, coached by David Taylor, who's uh, a world-renowned coach, and she's made a significant jump uh, this year. So she's one that we're we're hoping can um, go to the next level, but it's a, it's a tough road. I think it's just also one that it gives players belief. I think sometimes... It seems when you're out on tour and you're grinding away that it's so far away. And this is a player who, I mean, she's a freak. I mean, it's it's a standout. But yep. this is a once in a well, it's once in our sport. It's never mm. happened that mm. she, that a qualifier has done this. Mm. So, um, but there'll be certainly players in that ranking bracket that have played her, have beaten her, have played against her, have played in tournaments that she hasn't won. Um, you know, the test is going to come. And like it does for a lot of young players, though, for Raducanu now, is is doing it week in, week out on tour. And now it's going to carry a lot of expectation. And we've seen this, um, you know, a lot recently. And the expectation of the tour and, and how it goes week in, week out, and you're expected to win now, it's not easy to deal with. And we've seen players struggle with that. Um, you know, the British press is going to follow her even more closely yep. now. We know they jumped on during Wimbledon. Maybe at the start of the US Open, they were a little bit oblivious because no one expected this to happen. But certainly now, um, she's going to be at the forefront of everything they do. So maybe just a little sit down and a chat with Andy Murray about how to deal with that British yeah. pe press might not go astray either. No, not, not at all.